It's breeding stock sales week at Riverside Stables with more than 760 weanlings, race fillies and broodmares catalogued for three days and one spectacular night of sale action. And it all begins with the Inglis Australian Weanling Sale, where you are 67% more likely to buy a stakes winner than the next best auction house. Graduates this season include Hayasugi, Straight Charge, Komochi, Master Fay, and Live to Tell. And not only is the Inglis Australian Weanling Sale an incredible source of lucrative pin hooks, it's also where you can get your first look at progeny by the exciting new crop of stallions. With 448 weanlings on offer, I caught up with a handful of vendors ahead of the sale on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, we're really excited to have four stallions with their first foals here at the Inglis uh, Weanling Sale. You know, very exciting young horses from stay inside who I think is probably as good a credential as we've ever stood at Newgate through to a horse like Profiteer who could easily be the to sort of, of this crop, you know, the, the, the fast two year old that throwing really typey stock. So I'm really excited about it. Well, let's start with the wild ruler Bohemian Bourbon. Just take us through this colt on pedigree and type Henry. So he's a really sharp athletic colt, really good quality horse out of a fast American mare. She was a good mare Bohemian Bourbon and he's just a quality colt and he'll be a horse that will be well sought after. He's a really typey athletic horse, great muscle tone. He'll be precocious. He's got a lot going from that horse. A very, very nice foal. And the profiteer Tricky Zippy, also an American mare, and she's produced a winner so far. These fast American mares, we've worked really hard over the years to bring down high-level, proper American, like really good American mares. And uh, this filly is a big, strong, powerful, mature, precocious type filly that you know you can see coming back to an early yearling sale next year, and 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 being a big, big, powerful yearling that'll be well, well sought after. So we've uh, 12 here this year, uh, this is our third year in a row coming here. We got in here yesterday afternoon, they did about uh, 15 cards in an hour. And, um, yeah, it's what I love about a, a wheeling sale, um, you know, everybody will come and look at your draft. Yeah, Alabama Express, really, the only Alabama Express in the catalogue, as I said. He's done a great job with his first crop of uh, two-year-olds. Um, this filly, look, she's a nice walking filly, lovely scopey, athletic type filly. She wasn't bought for a whole lot. I think we bought the mare for about uh, two grand in full to Ambidexter at the time. We sold the Ambidexter for 10 grand and he's one and a quarter of a million. So this filly's, um, yeah, I mean, she's a half to a proven, proven runner and, and she's a nice athletic, scopey type of filly. Lot 307, uh, the uh, St. Mark's Basilica cult out of Amalgamate. Look, I've loved this cult since, uh, since birth. He's a real professional dude. He's got a, enough size, strength, scope, lovely balance. Um, he's well put together. Strength through the hocks, walks well. Um, look, I think he's a perfect example for the, for the stallion who I, I love. Looking forward to selling that colt for sure. We love coming to the uh, English Wheeling Sale. We have done for several years now and had success and our buyers have had success, so it's great. It's a Pinocchio's Paradise Sale draft and the success this year has been amazing. To name three, we've had a 40 to 260, a 105 to 500 and a 180 to 475 I think. Um, and of course we had Hayasugi and Master Faye as on the track successes. We bought 29 winnings here this year. The Farnan won one more tequila, he's got a great pedigree. Farnan has been very successful, the yellings have sold very, very well. He's a very strong type, early type. I'm sure he'll do the pedigree proud. And all the Wooten Bassets uh, that we have here, three of them, they've all got good temperaments. They should really suit Australian trainers. Yeah, he's, he's a very nice walker, um, this colt. I think he will be popular. We have quite a large draft, we've got 24. We're also doing um, weanlings for Ridgemont. We've got a good spread of young stallions. Um, I particularly like the wild rulers, they're not very nice types, and I've got a few of them in my draft. First filly is the stay inside Oh My Mimi filly. She's a cracker. I, I have quite a few stay insides on the farm and they're all very good foals, good shoulders, good hip, and just really nice horses. So this is a very nice filly. Well, well bred and well related. Next filly, we're good filly we've got is a Shoko I'm Invincible filly who needs no introduction. She was a million dollar mare at the chairman sale. She's got a good shoulder, she's got a good attitude, good hip, and walks well and just an overall nice filly, well balanced athletic. Uh, 15 weanlings on the complex this season um, from Coolmore. Extremely excited about the first crop foals of home affairs. 
Uh, he's been an extremely popular stallion. All the best breeders in the country have supported him and just uh, really looking forward to the week. Extra Olives, um, Home Affairs Colt, Reduced Choice Mare, uh, group placed in Melbourne. This is her fifth foal. Um, his brother is a Justified Colt that Legends Racings have. Uh, he's just a very good example of a Home Affairs Colt foal. Um, he'll be popular this week, we hope, and looking forward to showing him to people. Frankel Colt out of Russian Camilla, uh, well related mare, um, full sister to Russian Camelot. This guy, he's a very good first foal, uh, loads of strength and quality about him. We have a history of offering some very good Frankel, Frankel foals at the um, auction here in English over the last couple of years. And this guy is in the same mould as the previous Frankels and we are very, very excited about him. English weaning sale, uh, very strong results in the racetrack. Great opportunity for people to get involved in foals that they might not have been able to breed at home and complement their yearling drafts for next year. There really is something for everyone here and Inglis do a great job getting good people on track to buy the, the right products. The two-day Inglis Australian weanling sale begins at 10am on Monday, May 6. But wait, there's more. It's a night not to be missed. The Inglis Chairman's sale on Thursday evening, May 9. 87 outstanding race fillies and mares sold under lights and with the champagne flowing. Caroline Searcy and Emma Friedman will host our Sale Day Live coverage from 4.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. And of course our English Australian Broodmare Sale will round out an exciting week on Friday May 10 with 219 broodmares catalogued. All the information is on our website english.com.au. We look forward to hosting you at Riverside or on our live stream coverage.